Hi everybody, it is me, Lisa T, coming to you with some positive energy, reading The Language of Letting Go by Melody B. I'm reading March 29, Getting Needs Met. I didn't even think that was a possibility <laughs> a little while ago. I didn't even think it was possible to get those needs met because I thought it was a burden and I thought it was too much and I didn't know how to take care of myself and I didn't have any balance and I was... I didn't know how to let go of worry and I was flacked on setting boundaries and I all these readings that I've done up until now, that's what I was reading, the titles of all the days previous. Um, this book is helping me so much. Um, so hopefully now I'm at a spot where I can learn about getting needs met. So I never read these before I read them with you guys. It's always fresh. Um, yeah, and if you're watching for the first time, you can see these videos on YouTube, on my YouTube channel, Lisa Tabando, or you can scroll back through my feed. Give me a thumbs up. If you're on YouTube, subscribe, like my video, um, just so I know I'm supported on this journey and keep me, help me keep me going. Um, yeah, so getting needs met, March 29th. Picture yourself walking through a meadow. You, close, if you want, while you're watching this, close your eyes. Picture yourself walking through a meadow. There is a path opening before you. As you walk, you feel hungry. Look to your left. There's a full fruit tree in full bloom. Pick what you need. Keep your eyes closed. Steps later, you'll notice you're thirsty. Now on your right, there's a fresh water spring. When you're tired, a resting place emerges. When you are lonely, a friend appears to walk with you. When you get lost, a teacher with a map appears. Before long, you notice the flow, need and supply, need and supply. You have a need and it's supplied. Desire and then fulfillment. You have a desire and then it comes to fulfillment. You have a desire and it comes to fulfillment. Maybe you wonder, this is a little meditation reading. You can do, this is what some meditations are like if you've never done meditation. Maybe you wonder, Someone gave me the need because someone planned to fulfill it. Woo! That's a thought I've never had. Oh my God, maybe this need has come to me because there's something there to fulfill it. Nature abhors a vacuum. You take one thing away, something appears. When, when there's a need in nature, it, it evolves. When there's a need in nature, um, it, it, it finds its way. Water finds its way to the, to the, to the ocean. Um, trees find a way to suck up the water from the ground. There's a need for the water, and the tree roots then find a way. So maybe that's actually what our life is about in experiential way. If we have a need, maybe there's something there to fulfillment, desire and fulfillment. Maybe you wonder, someone gave me this need because someone planned to fulfill it. Maybe I had to feel the need so I would notice and accept the gift. Sometimes things are right in front of us, but we don't know how to grasp onto it. There's a, a, a thing about God, a, a story about God, and the guy's in a boat and he's 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 sinking and... Um, so he's in a boat and he prays, he's, the boat is slowly sinking and he prays, he's like, God, please save me. And then a boat comes by, another boat comes by with a man rowing by and the man rows by and he's like, hey, buddy, you want some help? He's like, no, 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 I'm waiting for God to save me. And then he keeps on, so the, his boat keeps sinking and sinking and then this other tug liner or something goes by and they're like, hey, buddy, down there, can we help you? And he's like, no, 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 I'm waiting for God to save me. And then he, find, he he sinks and he goes to heaven and God, and he says, God, I was waiting for you to save me. He's like, I sent you a boat, this, this, and this, the need. So his, what he need, he had a need and the fulfillment was there, but he couldn't see it. He couldn't see it. Um, so maybe I had a need to, I had to feel the need so that I would notice and accept the gift. So notice if you have a need, then open, and then if you have the belief and understanding that that need is going to be met, the gift will show itself is what this reading is telling us. I haven't experienced this, but, experienced this, but I'm excited to um, in this way anyways, with this kind of mindset. So maybe closing my eyes to the desire closes my eyes to its fulfillment. When I close, so when I shut down my own needs, when I say, no, 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 I don't need that need to be met. So if I shut that down and I close my eyes to that desire and that need, it also closes my arms to fulfilling it. Wow. 
demand and supply. This is like universal law, demand and supply, up and down, in and out. Demand, supply, desire, fulfillment, a continuous cycle unless we break it. It's like the body. It reminds me of the body right now. Uh, the body, its main purpose is to create homeostasis. The body's main purpose is to heal, create homeostasis. We have hormones. They're different, constantly balancing, balancing. But we get in the way. We break the cycle with stress and fatigue and overdoing it and overthinking. We get in the way of that natural cycle. So maybe we get in the way of this natural cycle of demand and supply, desire, fulfillment, need, need being met, unless we break it. So, all the necessary supplies have already been planned and provided for this journey. Woo! Doesn't that help you relax? Just know all my needs are going to be met. And truly, at the end of the day, my, my core essential needs are food, shelter, companionship, like our connection, I should say, not companionship, but connection. Um, and, and they're there, but it's up to me to grab onto them. The food's in my fridge, but it, I got to go eat it. The people are in my life, but I got to reach out and make a phone call. The shelter, you know, the cozy bed is there to relax in, but I got to close my mind down and, and, and decide that I'm going um, to sleep to, 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 to get that, that need to be met. Uh, we got we have, we, it's up to us to take care of that. The needs, the, the supply for my needs is actually here though. Now we got to put, play that in the bigger picture of all the little stuff in life. So here's your prayer for today. Today. Everything I need shall be supplied to me. It's like an affirmation. Today, it's a knowing. We got to know this in our gut. Get out of our heads and just start knowing, 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 knowing that we are lovable, we are valuable, that we have a purpose, that all is okay, that we can receive what we need we, and we can take care of ourselves and we have to affirm it with this. Today, everything I need shall be supplied to me. Woo, I love it. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Have a great day. Enjoy loving yourself.